What's up, Virgo? This is Soul. And Virgo, we're going to look at some energies for you this upcoming week. Starting January 21st and ending January 27th, 2022. Messages for Virgo suns, moons, risings, um, singles, couples, same-sex energies as well. All right, so I'm using three decks to do your readings this week. I'm using the Oracle of E for your Oracle message. I'm also using the uh, In the Shadows Oracle cards, specifically for relationships. It could be singles, couples. Uh, when I throw these cards, I'm going to do three. Virgo, you can use those messages however you want. They could be interchangeable. So if I throw a card, it could be a message that, you know, is generating uh, from you to the other person. Or it could be a message that's coming in um, for you directed from the other person. However you want to do uh, use these cards, it's perfectly fine by me. How uh, What I'm going to be doing or using a deck to do your general uh, reading is the Spellcaster's Tarot. So without further ado, let's get underway to see what the energies are for Virgo suns, moons, rising, singles, couples, same sex. And I like this, the Oracle of E, uh, very short passage, you know, straight to the point messages. And then, you know, that's what I like, you know, not that the other Oracle uh, messages that I used, I didn't like, but I just felt that, you know, these are more direct and to the point. It's not a whole bunch of fluff and stuff. All right, so let's just choose a card here for you, uh, Virgo, and see what the Oracle message uh, is for you this upcoming week. All right. Your Oracle message is Abracadabra. Number 21, let's go into the book here and see what Abracadabra says. Ooh. All right, Abracadabra. Aladdin's not the only one with three wishes. You too have a magical lamp that can uh, summon all you desire to your doorstep. It's a simple matter of making a clear intention and letting go of any fool nation, or I'm sorry, fool notion that you have to wait for the genie. You are the magic. See, simple and to the point. That is your oracle message for this upcoming week. Let's go ahead and move on to the Spellcaster's Tarot to see what the general energies for you and all signs uh, under you. Suns, moons, and rising, singles, couples, and same sex. All these cards are in the upright, but I was, you know, telling, mentioning in the other videos that sometimes reversals are good. Uh, using the Three of Swords as a prime example, uh, reverse Three of Swords is always an indication of you know, uh, getting over a separation or a you know, heartache, uh, divorce becoming final, um, ending of a, a love triangle, you know, the person's third party energy dropped out. So, and then, you know, it also too indicates uh, in the reverse position that is in the form of healing after having, to, you know, dealt with some sort of uh, suffering or grief. So you're ready to heal and move on. Uh, so, yeah, I might just start incorporating some more uh, reversals uh, into these uh, future readings and whatnot because it, it, I don't know. I don't want to say it gets kind of boring to keep reading in the upright, um, but I guess, you know, I'm too much of a people pleaser. <laughs> so, I don't know. All right. So your first message here. Uh, yeah, Virgo. I'm sorry, Virgo. We're going to start off with the chariot. Now, Leo is the only sign that has not received or opened up the energies with a major arcana. Isn't that funny? Now you have the chariot. So you know this is positive energy moving forward. Uh, open general readings so are you know, basically going to be covering all areas and aspects of your life, incorporating uh, energies or messages for you know relationships as well. Uh, so this is traveling. If there's some sort of traveling going on here for uh, Virgos this upcoming week, it could be long distance short distance. It could be uh, Virgos who are purchasing new cars, um, you know, having car repairs. Um, just make sure that you're not that Virgo that gets behind the wheel of your car and speeds because this, even though it's a good car, it's still an indication of a moving violation. Also, too, I equate this with that of the star card, hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. So if this is taking or partaking some of the energy of the star card, that means it's a social networking card. So there's a lot of social networking that may be taking place with uh, Virgos this upcoming week. 
in the forms of, you know, um, yeah, definitely rapid movement, okay? A lot of communication is going on there. So this chariot here represents Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces energies. So something positive is moving in the direction that you uh, want it to be moving in. And then, you know, for all others, um, the other messages may apply. So your shadow energy here relates to the Knight of Wands. So Knight in Shining Armor. So this is someone who usually comes along to assist you. If this is a, a new connection when it comes to a romance, then this is how quick the uh, relationship may start up for some of you. So it may not be, you know, with a uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but this could be a relative. This could be a friend who comes along and helps Virgo. Uh, assist Virgo, but they come in quickly and then they exit quickly. But when it comes to a relationship, that's just the rapidness of how uh, quick the connection may be. Not that, you know, they're going to come in real quick and then, you know, wham, bam, thank you, man. And they exit just as quick. No. So we have the Knight of Wands here. Um, the chariot opens you up. What's crossing that chariot? Um, and again, that could be, you know, like a romantic connection since the chariot represents the emotions, you know, cancer, uh, specifically. Now we have the uh, hangman, major arcana. So this is not bad. The hangman is just when it comes to decision making, Virgo. You know, I always tell you guys, this is not a, a, ro a no rushing type of energy. So whatever it is that you need to have uh, time to think about, um, especially if it's something that's really important going on in your life. There's no, uh, the, you know, the hangman comes in to say there's no need for you to rush to make a rash decision and then make a bad choice or a decision later on and then have some sort of regret. Take all the time that you need in the world, uh, you know, but see, the reversal of this would be that you already made up your mind, you know exactly what you're doing, and now you're moving forward. But, you know, it's in the upright, since I'm reading all these cards in the upright, so this is what I'm saying. So whatever it is that you got going on, um, there's no rush. There's no need for you to rush to make a irrational decision. Uh, take all the time that you need to make and take. Okay, following that major arcana, the hangman, we now have the two of cups. This is love. This is love. This is love. Okay. Oh, that's right. Oh, okay. I think I only used this deck maybe once before. I, and I'm just noticing on the Two of Cups that there's, uh, these are two males here. Yeah, okay. Well, to each their own. That's why I always say for each sign that I'm reading for, for same-sex energies, okay? Because you never know. You never know what's going on. And I want to make sure that everyone feels inclusive here. So this is the Two of Cups. This is the coming together of uh, partnerships. This is partnerships that are already together. And you're just sharing each other's uh, company. You're sharing each other's love. What you put out, you get back. Um, it's like, you know, uh, being on the same page. Um, you know, like being with the like-minded, same like-minded individuals. They like what you like and so forth. This is dinner dates. This is the invitation going out. This could be first dates. Two of Cups represents Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Also, they represent siblings for me as well as children. So just, you know, spending quality time with those significant others that mean, um, you know, something to you. And again, new developments of friendships, new developments of romantic partnerships. It mirrors the chariot. So it could be some sort of romantic link going on um, with people who have an interest with others at a distance. Or there could be some traveling to those energies as well. Or about to travel. Maybe the hermit is there because it has something to do with that. And you need time to think about it. Do I really want to, you know, do I want to go, you know, travel to see this person? That's just an example. That's not something that's you know, set in stone. Following the two of cups here now, Virgo, we have, look at that, you got the sun. Oh my gosh, you got the sun shining and smiling on you. You have three major arcanas. And you know when this sun show, uh, shows up here, it's all about joy. It's all about happiness. It's all about uh, freedom. It's all about being exposed in a good way. Now, oftentimes I always pick up medical stuff. 
For whatever reason, the sun represents medical stuff. I could be reading from Virgos that work in the medical industries, from you know uh, nurses to doctors to hospital support staff. Um, you know anybody who works in a, a you know medical office or anything. This could be someone who is um, having chemotherapy uh, treatment for cancers, radiation. This could be just routine medical checkups for Virgos that I'm talking to. With the sun here, all is well. Anybody who is having x-rays of all kinds, this is the sun that comes through. Exposure to x-rays. Chemo, radiation. Always pick up California and um, Florida for whatever reason. And then we have the, you know, the chariot here, so somebody could be traveling to those areas. But it can be any remote, sunny area, okay? But the expression of happiness and joy is here for you this upcoming week, and it's smiling on you, okay? That's great. Feeling brilliant, you know, feeling, you know... Uh, exposed in a good way. The sun is the best card in the tarot deck. All right, so the final card here for you, Virgo, for this glorious reading is the, oh shit, now you got the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune is here. So a stroke of luck, this is my fate and destiny card, being at the right place at the right time. Oh my gosh, okay. Those Virgos who play the lottery, this could be big wins, but play responsibly. I always tell you guys uh, to play responsibly. Something turning in uh, favor for a Virgo. Look at that. You got the chariot, the two of cups, and maybe the hermit is here because of all this other potential energy that may open up for you that there's no need to rush take all the time in your in, you know in the world that you need you're fated for something you're destined for something that's the will of fortune wow i like this reading for you virgo i really do all right so let's finish up this reading here with the um Messages from the In the Shadows Oracle uh, deck here. And Virgo, again, use these messages however that you may apply them to your situation, uh, whether you, you know, you're in a relationship, you're single, or whatever. And remember I said that they could be interchangeable. Messages that are showing up could be you in terms of your expression towards the other person, or it could be the expression of the other person coming towards you. All right, so the first message we're going to begin with this is the deck that I should have used in the general love reading instead of the yin yang. Because this sort of more or less pose or would directly answer the question at hand. So the first message for you is I'm waiting for an apology. So that's either you or them. All right. All right. Next message here for you, Virgo. We have somebody lied to you or you lied to them. Third and final message. I know you're watching me. <laughs> I know you're watching me. Okay, is that you watching somebody? Virgo or I don't know. Anyway, this is your reading for this upcoming week, no matter what you do. Do it safely, Virgo. Keep that big smile on your face and um, enjoy your week ahead and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.